What's up everyone, it's Matt here and welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to another luxury house tour. You join me here in Hadley Wood. Let me pop a map on the screen. So if you're not familiar with the area, you can see how far away we are from center of London. Now this house behind me is on the market for 3.3 million pounds. All the listing agents details will be in the description below. So it's got six bedrooms, seven bathrooms and six reception rooms. And probably one of the most amazing gardens in the Hadleywood area. You're looking at like three quarters of an acre, but it's incredible. We're gonna give you a complete tour. So let's start at the front of the property. As you can see, we've got a lot of off-road parking here, loads and loads of space, probably at least you know, five or six cars pretty comfortably. And then we've got the garage there. There's actually a gym in there, which we'll show you pretty soon. Now these houses aren't that old, only a couple of years old. Um, so everything obviously is very contemporary, super new inside. Now guys, if you're new to the channel, we tour amazing real estate all around the UK. So make sure to check that out and subscribe for more. We're not agents ourselves. Um, we're just touring these properties and showing you guys around. So come on, let's check it out. All right, we'll pause here. Just before we go in, we've got all the technology here. We've got the CCTV camera that you can see from inside, the fob access, and then you've got a touchpad over there, but there's a hell of a lot of technology throughout. Let's go in. All right, guys, come on through. Check out this entrance. I mean, your eyes are immediately drawn to this staircase here. There's a lot of glass throughout the property, as you can see, and then we've got the slate tile finish under the stairs and over there as well, some nice LED lights. Now on the other side, we've got these tinted and kind of smoked mirror effects here, which is really cool. And then it opens up to this massive living space. Um, I don't even know how big this whole area is. What I'll do, I'll pop the floor plan on screen now so you can check it out and see the measurements of this whole entire area. Um, but let's start over this side. So we've got a living area, as you can see, big TV on the wall. And then this here, the material over here is actually Venetian um, plaster on the walls, which is quite cool. You've seen that a lot in these luxury houses. And then on the flooring, we've got large porcelain tiles. Okay, now moving on this way, we've got a little office. So through this door, well look, it's a generous office, no problems working in here, same tiled finish. This whole area has probably some of the most LED lights, LED, like the spotlights that I've ever seen, if you take a, a look up to the ceiling. All right, in the center, we've got this huge dining table, currently got 10 seats on at the moment. Obviously, you can have loads and loads of guests around here. Then as we work our way across, we've got another little seating area. And then that brings us on to the kitchen. Look at the size of this kitchen island, like in comparison to me. So it's granite worktops all throughout, and I thought this was quite cool. Yeah, sneaky look at all the jars. They're actually getting ready for having some friends over on the weekend, which is gonna be cool. All right, let's come on around. You can actually see how big this island is and how much storage you've got all throughout, which is cool. Then over on this side, you've got loads more storage, Miele appliances, and then you've got a fridge. The freezer this side, actually, and fridge this side. There we go. Now over here, we've got a Bosch gas hob. Now if you're thinking like, you know, that's not enough cooking space, wait till you see the chef's kitchen here. this way. Come on through. How cool is this? So all your meals can be cooked. Literally, you can shut that door, shut that one, have this as a totally separate space. Still feels like a nice kitchen though. You've got good quality hardware appliances. And the oven over here, You've got Neff appliances, Neff big oven. And what's quite cool is a big skylight on top as well. Loads and loads of glass, as I mentioned throughout. The owner's business is actually in glass manufacturing. So that's probably why you see so much throughout the house. Okay, follow me through this way. We're gonna sneak through here, which is the utility. And then what this is, it then goes through to the garage, which as I mentioned, is currently set out as a gym. But a decent garage, obviously, if you want to use it for that, you've got a nice electric door. And there's actually a toilet in here as well, so good for gardeners um, or obviously for the gym. All right, now let's get our bearings and go back out to here because, like, there's so much of this house, we almost like miss this little area here where we've got a big, big piano. 
How cool. And then these walls, if I show you that you've got it on this side and the other, did ask, but they weren't sure exactly what the material is, but I know that it is a paper, but it's very textured. Quite an interesting finish, I haven't seen that before, which is cool. Yeah, and then lastly at the back, we've got loads of sliding doors. So you can pretty much open the entire space up, um, which is gonna be really nice. We'll open that up later in the tour, show you the garden. And then technology-wise, you've got underfloor heating throughout the entire house, and you've got the surround music system throughout that you can control from your phone, and you can have different music playing in each room of the house. But yeah, lastly down here then, through here we've got the downstairs toilet, and then also the AV room with all the technology. Obviously these houses have heaps and heaps of wiring and tech. All right guys, before we head upstairs, let's actually check out this cinema room. Cinema rooms are so crucial in luxury houses nowadays, seeing them so often. This one's kind of like a medium size. We've got the projector over on the wall here. Same surround sound system as you've got throughout the house, but you can control it independently from this room. And then here is the projector. So you could customize the layout, have a few different like seating options, and you've also got a big window towards the front as well. They're pretty cool, right? Okay, hope you guys are enjoying the tour so far. Make sure to hit like if you are, comment your thoughts down below. We've still got a list to see though, so let's check out upstairs. All right guys, there's still loads and loads to see, so I'm coming up the stairs now. We've got the Venetian plaster on the walls here. Check out this cool feature. We've got glass in the flooring, so you can look all the way down, spy on who's coming through. Now let me bring you over here quickly first, because from the ceiling here, all the way to the floor, you can actually see all the way up as you come through the front entrance, and that's around 10 meters in height. Here, we've got six bedrooms to show you. The master bedroom in here is amazing. So through double doors, Check this out, I mean, you think this is a whole nother lounge. This is your bedroom though, so you've got all this seating area. Look how small the bed looks in comparison to the room, but this is a normal size bed. So loads and loads of space, lots of glass to let natural light in, and then you've got also a load of LED lights as well. How cool is this area? So it's like a little chill spot, make the most of the fact that you can open these doors all the way up and obviously have views onto your garden. As I mentioned, the garden is probably one of the best parts of this property just because of the sheer size and also the privacy. Like I said, around three quarters of an acre. And yeah, how cool is this? All right, let me take you to the other side of this room where we've got a walk-in wardrobe and ensuite. And now there's one of these in each of the bedrooms. Loads of space, dual sides, everything you need, and then big mirror at the end. And then through here is the ensuite, where you've got dual sinks again, big rainfall shower head. Pretty cool. Okay, let's go check out the next bedroom. Now this again, even though it's a second bedroom, still the size, like a comfortable main bedroom. We've got hardwood flooring actually throughout the house, which is quite interesting, no carpets. And then over here is the wardrobe, mirror, and ensuite in there if you wanna poke your head in. All right, so that's two of the six bedrooms. Let me show you the others. So we've got one of the across the hallway through here. Look, they're all big bedrooms. I don't think you're gonna be complaining about which one you're in. This one actually faces the front of the house. So let's keep the tour flowing and check out the wardrobe through here. So you actually walk directly through here into the ensuite of this room where you've got a bit of an angle, but then you do go around to the shower. Camera's trying to like figure its way around. All right, let's see what else we've got. Another nice feature as you can see in the hallway. And another bedroom here, obviously looks like a kid's bedroom. This one has quite a good sized wardrobe area as well. Lots of shelves. And then <laughs> the ensuite through here. 
And you've even got the speakers and everything through all the bedrooms and all the en suites. So I would say probably the best floor is this one that we're about to check out now. Um, it's just got some amazing spaces to see the views of the front and back. Okay, yeah, check out this staircase up all the way to this top floor. And like, this is so private up here. Amazing teenage bedroom area. So firstly, we've got this like big lounge open area. Still being on top, got great ceiling heights. Massive TV edged on there. Um, and then a Velux window, but also this quite cool little romantic setting with the triangle window. What's this called? A harp. A harp. <laughs> Can you play it? I can't play the harp. I feel like if you play that instrument, how are you carrying that around to the band? It's true. What's that other massive one? The oboe? The oboe. <laughs> the oboe, you know, I've not heard of that. To see those kids with like the huge, huge bags. <laughs> I always wonder, fair play to you. Can you play that? Yeah. No, 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 no. Best leave that. Okay, let's check out what else we've got. Yeah, this looks comfy. Oh yeah, love about that. Good form. Oh, that's a nice view. A lot of big houses in this Hadleywood area. And this one's quite nice because it's on the corner of a fairly quiet road because a lot of the houses in Hadleywood are on quite busy main roads. This is more private. Moving through here, we've got one of the bigger bathrooms where obviously we actually do have a freestanding bath, a shower, and then the sink area around here. It's quite cool because it doubles up as like a Juliet. Um, there's sort of like Jack and Jill where you come into this wardrobe and then this goes through to the bedroom. I hope we're not confusing you with the layout. And yeah, nice big bedroom. Then there's another bedroom across the hall. Yeah, this one is quite cool as well. This has a big wardrobe. Like that is a really good fact that each bedroom all has a big walk-in wardrobe. So you don't need to have any closets in the room. And then yeah, there's the ensuite over there. All right, lastly, let me show you guys the view from just around here. This is probably my favorite area in the property because you've got this nice cozy living area, incredibly private, but you've got all the lush greenery. Um, just an amazing, amazing view really in a place to sit with these big windows. And you can have a sneak preview of the garden. And then what we'll do now, we'll go grab our shoes on and go check it out. So let's meet you down there. All right, what's up everyone? So you now join us outside. We're gonna check out the garden. So we've firstly got this um, like patio area outside. Massive space to be honest. Obviously you can see that you can fit a big pool or something of the like here. Over this side, we've got an outdoor kitchen, um, kind of like in and outdoors, space for you to just like have a big barbecue, some nice chairs, which is really cool. And now let's check out what the house looks like from the back. As you can see, a lot of glass, super contemporary, super modern. That's the master suite there with the big opening window. And now, let's head down these steps. Look at that, look how nice and symmetrical that path is going all the way down to the end of the garden. So let's take a walk down. And then as you come through these trees, it literally opens up. You can see we've got some big willow trees a nice garden isn't it like look at the size of this it actually gets a lot wider towards the end uh, or in this middle area and then at the far end we've got another big building i'll meet you down there and we'll have a look okay yeah so you can see obviously this outbuilding kind of part way in construction but you've certainly got the space and the footprint to do something really nice here like a big outdoor gym maybe at the end of the garden and outdoor area you can have like a hot tub and everything in here it's super private at the end of this garden really nice trees surrounding all right that's a wrap we finished the house tour hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to like this video if you did subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can be notified every single time we post we have so many more incredible houses on the way for you all the way around the uk so london but also lots in the south um, lots by the uk coast so yeah good variety so make sure to look out for them and we'll see you guys soon